So today we're just going to be doing a quick review of the Hyphaman Edition XS. Um, these are the newest in Hyphaman's lineup of planar magnetic open back headphones and they retail for around $4.99 US. So that just puts them squarely in the middle between the Anandas, which are $6.99, and the Sundaras, which are $3.50. And so today I just wanted to do a quick video comparing them to the Sundaras and basically answering the question of whether or not it's worth the price. So I wanted to start off by talking about the cable because Haifa men are known for just not having very good cables. Most of the stock cables that come with their headphones are just terrible quality and, and immediately get replaced. But with the Edition XS, surprisingly, you do get a decent cable that performs well and also doesn't tangle up. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't hold its shape for too long. And it's just a solid, decent headphone cable. And I would say you probably do not need to upgrade these. On the other hand, something like the Sundaras, um, the, the cable that they come with just is not very good. And so I would recommend that if you buy the Hyphen and Sundara, you upgrade your cable. If you're buying the Edition XS, there's probably no need to do that. So looking at build quality, that's one of the areas where the Edition XS really disappoints in my opinion. So just looking at the overall design of it, first of all, it uses the cheaper headband style, which is found on the HE400 SE on the Diva. Um, and it's just not a very solid feeling headband. It doesn't feel as premium as the headband on the Sundara. And uh, overall, I just say it's it's a very disappointing design choice. And I'm really not sure why they would do that other than to bring down the price. But again, the Sundara is 350 and it still uses the suspension design right here. And this design is just a lot more durable, in my opinion, and also a lot more comfortable. So that's really one thing to keep in mind when you're buying this headphone is it does not come with a very nice headband. Now looking at the rest of the build quality, again, it's a little bit disappointing to see plastic being used on the majority of the construction here. You do get metal yokes as our standard with high feminine products, but the majority of the build just feels cheap. Now by comparison, the Sundara actually has, in my opinion, vastly superior build quality. So if you take a look at just how it's constructed, it's mainly made of metal. There's very little plastic involved here. Um, the headband is a very nice sort of leather feeling material. Um, obviously, it's using the suspension strap design. Um, and just overall, it feels a lot more premium. Just touching it, it feels like it's a well-crafted, well-designed headphone. Whereas with the Edition XS, it just, it feels cheap. It feels like it's not that solid and it, it wiggles around a lot. Um, and it just doesn't feel like a $500 headphone. So let's talk about comfort. The first thing that I have to say about these is that they are way too loose. Now, what I mean by that is when you put these on your head and you swivel your head, you, you move your head back and forth, or you just move your head from side to side, these will fall off. That is how loose they are. And this is actually a common problem that a lot of people are having with this headphone. It's just way too loose and it slides off your head and it's just almost impossible to keep in place. So another issue with these headphones is if you wear glasses like I do, they make this really annoying squeaking sound whenever you turn your head. Um, it's, it's really intrusive. It takes you out of the music and uh, it just ruins the experience, especially for people who listen in quiet environments, every little movement that you make, every time you tilt your head even slightly, these squeak and they're incredibly loud and it just takes you completely out of the experience. And so for me, that's one of the main reasons why this headphone for me as a glasses wearer is basically unusable. And so if you wear glasses, I would highly recommend that you try these out at a store with the glasses that you're going to be wearing and you make sure that these will not make that type of squeaking noise with your glasses before you buy these. Now in comparison, the Sundaras are very comfortable. They do have quite a bit of clamping force, but that's really what you want in a headphone. You don't want it to be sliding around. You don't want it to fall off your head when you tilt your head. And so these are really, in my opinion, one of the more comfortable headphones that I've tried and definitely one of the most comfortable hi fi headphones. And um, I would just say in terms of comfort, the Sundaras win hands down. There's no contest at all. They just feel more premium. They feel better on your head. They don't move around. They don't make noise when you're moving your head. 
They work perfectly with glasses or without glasses. And so if you're looking for a comfortable pair of headphones, I would definitely say stick with the Sundaras and save your money. But let's talk about what's really important in a set of headphones and that's how they sound. Now, these actually sound fantastic. They've done a great job with tuning these headphones and making them sound really fantastic for the price. Now, the bass on these is absolutely fantastic. If you're after a headphone that does bass really, really well, I would go with the Edition XS over the Sundaras purely for the amount of bass they have. So these have very impactful bass. They are a lot more bass heavy than the Sundaras. They are a lot more fun sounding. The bass just has a lot more slam and impact to it. And I just think overall, if you are a fan of bass, you're gonna love these headphones. The mids on the other hand are a bit more recessed than they are on the Sundaras. So they do have a little bit of a V-shape or even a U-shape sound signature. And speaking of U-shapes, the treble on this is, I would say elevated above the Sundaras. It has more of a sparkle. It has more of an airiness to it. And the treble just comes off as very smooth and very present without being fatiguing. The Sundaras, on the other hand, they have a very forward mid response. The vocals and guitars, they sound very present. They sound very forward. And the Sundaras actually have quite a bit less bass than the Edition XS. Um, I would say the Sundaras definitely have a more analytical sound signature. So if that's what you're after, I would definitely stick with the Sundaras. The Edition XS definitely is the funner headphone of the two. And if you're looking for a more U-shaped or more V-shaped sound signature and that's what you're after and you know that that's what you prefer, then the Edition XS will be absolutely amazing for you. So the soundstage on these is actually incredible. They are a lot more open than the Sundaras, which were in themselves a pretty open and pretty respectable headphone for soundstage. These just take it to a whole new level and you can actually feel the music open up when you switch from the Sundaras to these and you can hear a lot of details and a lot of directional cues that you didn't hear before. So in conclusion, I really think that these sound like a pair of $1,000 headphones, but they feel like a pair of $100 headphones. So they sound amazing. They actually compete with headphones that are more expensive but they just aren't comfortable because of how loose they are, because of how cheap that they feel. And just the inability of these to stay on your head, I think is a huge downside to these headphones. So you have to actually try very hard to keep these on your head and to keep them from falling off. And I think that's a big misstep in terms of design where if they'd only made this a little bit tighter, I think it would have solved a lot of the build quality issues and a lot of the fit issues and the comfort issues on this headphone. Now, if you don't wear glasses, I would still recommend that you highly consider checking these out. They sound amazing, as I've said. They have very present bass response, and I think probably the best bass response from an open back that you'll find under $500, maybe even under $1,000. But you have to make sure that these fit you and these are comfortable, because for me, they are just absolutely unusable because of how loose they are, and because every time I turn my head, they end up squeaking against my glasses and just not having a very pleasant user experience from that. So for me, I'm going to be sticking with the hi and Sundaras. I think that at $350, they are an absolute steal. And of course, the Edition XS sounds better. It has a lot more impact in the bass response. It has more treble. It has a much better sound stage. But at the end of the day, they are still very close. And I think that I would rather take a little bit less sound quality, but maintain comfort and maintain that satisfaction of having the headphones actually sit on your head. So would I recommend these? I think the answer is it depends. So if you wear glasses, I would definitely recommend that you at least try them out in person and make sure that they don't make noise when you move your head. And even if you don't wear glasses, I'd recommend you try these out first because as I've mentioned, they are so loose that for me and for a lot of other people who have tried this headphone, it just won't stay on your head and it'll just have a tendency to move and to fall off. And it's just not a very pleasant experience. Sound wise, I think it's absolutely amazing, but I just cannot recommend this because of the comfort. And I think that comfort is a very important part of a headphone. I think that comfort is a huge factor for me and for a lot of other people. And if you're going to have a headphone that costs half a thousand dollars, I think that you should at least 
put the effort into designing it so that it feels good and it doesn't fall off your head. I think that's the bare minimum that you can do as a headphone designer and a manufacturer to just ensure the product stays on your head. And that's really the least that you could do in my opinion. And unfortunately, this just doesn't seem to want to stay on my head. It just continuously slips off with the slightest movement. And especially if you're getting really into your music, you know, if you want to move your head along to it, you cannot do that with these headphones. It will definitely affect the fit on these and it'll actually make them fall off if you move your head. So for me, this is a huge letdown because they sound so amazing, but I just cannot recommend these because of how they fit. And I really don't see a reason to upgrade from the Sundaras to the Edition XS if you care about comfort at all. If you don't care about comfort, then I think the Edition XS undoubtedly sounds a lot better than the Sundaras in terms of bass and in terms of soundstage, but I just cannot justify spending $200 more for worse build quality, worse comfort, and just an overall cheaper feeling headphone. Just the way the headphone feels is so much less premium than the Sundaras, and I think that that's a huge misstep from Hyphaman to manufacture a product that feels cheaper than another product that's $200 less. Now, if you have a bigger head or you don't wear glasses, you might actually find these to be okay in terms of comfort. So again, I would highly recommend that you go into a store and check these out for yourself. But for me personally, I am going to be returning these. And who knows, you might find them very comfortable, but for me, they're just way too loose. And I think a lot of people will agree with me that they just don't play well with people who wear glasses. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any comments on these headphones, maybe you've tried them yourself and you have similar opinions, or maybe you disagree and you think that these are very comfortable and they fit really well. So leave a comment below and let's discuss.